cash out. I think it's important we take a few minutes and have a civil discussion about one of the most contentious topics in Mordhau right now. That is the balance of the melee combat system with some specific weapons. Among those weapons and most infamous is the rapier, specifically the rapier shield combo. Every time I jump into a game, there is always a player using this specific build and easily finding their way somewhere to the top five of their leaderboard in the multiplayer modes, whether it be duels or whether it be front lines or what have you. The build just feels overpowered right now. I know that that's going to bring a lot of hate. I know that people disagree with me. I know that the uh, the usual argument is just get better, learn to parry more effectively, understand the timing better. And I think all of that is fair, but you still can't argue with the statistical fact that a less skilled player can be more successful with the rapier shield build. To prove that, I jumped into front lines with the most irritating of builds, the rapier and shield. Grabbed my big kite shield, grabbed my rapier, kept the same armor that I always have, invested my extra points because this build is actually cheaper than my traditional build into some perks and then I went in. I played five minutes on front lines, my team easily won the match, I came in third on my team. The only thing I did the entire match is stab and block. I didn't do a single slash, I didn't do a single parry, I didn't do, well I blocked with my shield, but I didn't do a traditional parry. And I didn't do a single chamber, I didn't do a single riposte, and the result was first time ever using this build, I came in the top three, my team won in five minutes, and I was just racking up kills like it was nothing. Okay, so for me, that's evidence enough that this is a little bit overpowered and it needs some tweaking. I'm not burning the devs, I'm not saying they did anything wrong, I'm not saying the, the game is bad, and frankly, balancing these weapons is going to be a constant challenge. There will always be a developing meta based off the latest updates, and it's going to just be a revolving door of continuous tweaks to make sure that this game stays fun, and that one particular build doesn't become so overpowered powered that it, it takes away the fun from the rest of the game so some solutions I ha we have to talk about solutions we can't just complain and whine and you know just uh, terrorize the chat in every frontline game we play whenever someone uses rapier so developers here's what we can do to make this easier so one you can reduce the speed of attack of the rapier that is a contentious recommendation. That is a significant nerf maybe one that's unnecessary and maybe a bridge too far so Rather than reducing the speed of the rapier, you could also, two, make the stab animation for not just the rapier, but all classes to include spears more pronounced. One of the reasons the rapier is so effective is because it stabs very quickly and the animation can be deceiving. A lot of folks say that you watch the tip of a blade to determine whether or not it's going to be a stab or a slash or what have you so you know how to parry or when to parry. The problem with the rapier is the tip of the blade and the blade itself is so small that when the character animation comes back into the stab you can't really tell where the tip of the blade is and so you may not even realize that a stab rather than a slash or what have you is going to be coming at you very quickly. Option three you can decrease the cooldown time between parries of all of the other classes or all the other builds or all the other weapons. Okay, this one is completely unrealistic. I don't think it's a wise decision. I think that would basically break the game and that would be uh, a bridge too far again. So right now, I think, you know, of the three options, what we need to do is we need to change the character animation for the stab on the rapier, make it a little bit more pronounced, uh, make it obvious that that stab is coming your way and also potentially change the model of the blade to make it a little bit more visible and that would be a very small change that we could make right now that wouldn't actually affect the way any of the weapons perform but would give a player defending against a rapier build a better chance of actually making the correct decision within the combat system which is how the game should be played. The devs already addressed on today, the 15th of May, with the latest patch, some of the challenges with the shields, we'll see how that goes, but basically the hitbox for the shield is going to be slightly decreased so that you can still get some damage around the shield. That's going to be helpful with all shield classes, especially the rapier class. So this is my rant, guys. I, I tried to avoid doing this, but I felt like this was a conversation we needed to have. I thought it was clearly a problem because I was able to jump in and dominate with this build, and I'm not very good. With all that said, today's video is brought to you by me, uh, Controlled Paris. I don't get paid to do this. I invest a lot of time to do this. I'm a dad. I'm a professional. I work. 
I don't sleep very much because I'm passionate about making content and playing these awesome games and I want to bring you guys the absolute best stuff there is. Uh, with that being said, the best way for you to support me is to watch my videos, subscribe to my channel, and consider taking a look at some of my other videos. Stick around and be part of this community because we've got a lot more of both Mordhau content but also some great tactical shooter gameplay because here we are all about telling epic digital stories using tactical shooters and tactical simulators like Mordow as a means to do it. So until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield.